right, hey everyone, this is Dave Farrell, the Memory Master here, and I have the great Jonathan Sprinkles. He is a speaker extraordinaire on the college market, and this whole blog is all about improving the education system right from grammar school all the way up to med school and everything in between uh, by, by not spending more money. I'm a firm believer that if you do things differently, put a little more thought instead of more money into something, you can actually get some more results. Not that, not that the school system doesn't need more money, but this is our focus, all right? So, Jonathan, what I want to ask you, you've been to a lot of college campuses and, and, and you're, you're all about motivation and empowerment, but of course, you know, education, these are institutes of learning. You know, primarily, so what would you say is some of the biggest either mistakes or things that could be done better that you see as, a, as an outside expert, you know, jumping around from a lot of different places, uh, if you could just, if you had total control, if you were the president, right, which you're pretty charismatic, who knows, maybe one day you'll be, uh, if you could just change the education system, uh, what would it be? What would, what would happen? Well, two things. First of all, I'd get rid of this whole standardized test thing for sure, mm -hmm. because that stuff is obviously proven to not work. So just teaching to a test does not work. Right. Students are not learning. They are being trained just to uh, be able to check the right answer. And it incentivizes teachers to teach the test, not teach the material. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Doesn't work. Then number two, um, I would institute some more character-based learning right now. Because right now, um, well, if you um, have read the book, The Road Less Traveled, oh, yeah. um, it talks about how everybody has a power base. Mm -hmm. and as a child, the power base goes from your family into society as you get a little bit older. And right now, society is making kids go all the way off and make them make too many decisions way too early, mm. too many adult decisions. And I like to see some more character-based uh -huh. education and personal development put back in schools that let kids know it's okay to be who you are. So, so you think that you should teach somebody how to be a good person before you try to ask them what do you want to do with with your life. Absolutely. I mean, I think right now we are being programmed, young people are being programmed just to be cogs in a wheel. They're not thinking for themselves. Everything is given to them. I would much rather spend some time having them think and say, who am I? What do I bring to this world? And what can I give to them? Yeah, that's fantastic. It reminds me of what Leo Buscaglia, great, great uh, right. author in the past. He always said, be a human being, not a human doing. Right. And and society tells us, you know, I'm a, I'm a speaker. You're a fireman. You're the, right. But we're all human beings and we right. all have characters. We're all very, very common. Complex. So I really like that, you know, bringing out the complexity in, in who you are and understanding your identity because you can't really know what you want to do for a living until you really know who you are and what, right. like, what excites you. I really and, like and that. And it all goes back into what's being uh, taught in the classroom. But first of all, let me also make this distinction. I don't believe that we have a teacher problem. I don't believe that we have a child problem. I believe we really have a parenting problem. Mm. Uh, it's very easy to point at the teachers because mm. that's the last link in the chain. Yeah. Oftentimes we try to say, well, it's the teacher's fault. But if the teacher's having to do half parenting, half teaching, and making sure that these kids pass the right. test. I mean, really, this is a, a, a very multifaceted issue. It's not Absolutely. just one yeah. thing. No, no, but, but like, it's the devil's in the details, right? Right. You know, one of the things that I brought up in the blog earlier that you bring a, a fine point, and I truly believe when you have several masters, they're, if, if they're really masters of something, they're going to think of the same things, kind of coming to the same conclusion. Right. So we've actually looked at other countries, Japan being being one of them that has one of the one of the considered, you know, considered to be one of the best education systems out there by a lot of, you know, arbitrary measurements uh, in terms of, you know, IQ quotient and things like that and performance. And one of the things they always do is the parents and the teachers, they know each other on a first name basis. They talk on a, on a weekly, if not daily basis. And, and I'm thinking of all the parents that I talk to who don't even know if their kids are doing homework right now, who don't, you know, who don't right. even know what, the, what curriculum they have, what their friends are, or even half the names of any of their teachers. Right. And it's that disconnect that, uh, that leads to the, the, the gap that you right. can fall into. Yeah, Columbine was supposed to have taught this mm -hmm. nation a lesson. Unfortunately, I think we missed the message. Yeah. And th all that was was a culmination of the parents going off living one life and having Xbox and MTV and cable oh, television yeah. raise the kids in a completely separate space. And, and believe that you can just yeah, sit absolutely. a child in front of the television, that's your babysitter, and, and yeah. treating school like a babysitter right. too, instead of, 